This video briefly discusses the optimization settings that you can choose for your Evolver model. You can view or change optimization settings by clicking the Settings button on the Evolver ribbon. This opens a dialog box with four tabs. The Runtime tab provides settings on when to stop the search for the optimal solution. In general, it is difficult to know how long to run an Evolver optimization, and this depends a lot on the type of model. For example, for linear programming models, the settings shown here are virtually irrelevant because Evolver always finds the solution quickly. On other types of models, it sometimes finds a very good solution quickly and then spends a lot of time trying to find slightly better solutions. You can experiment with these runtime options, but the one shown here often works fine. It stops when there is essentially no improvement in the objective for 20,000 consecutive trials. However, if you see that this is taking too long, you can try decreasing the number of trials from 20,000 to, say, 5,000. In the Engine tab, you will usually want to choose the default option. Then Evolver will choose the algorithm from its collection that is likely to work best on your type of model. However, if you choose Manual, you can then choose between two optimization algorithms, a genetic algorithm and OpQuest. The OpQuest algorithm is new to Evolver 6.0, and it is often superior to the genetic algorithm in terms of speed. Note that there is actually a third algorithm, also new to Evolver 6.0, that doesn't show up in the dialog box. It is an algorithm specifically designed for linear programming, that is LP, models. If you know you have an LP model, you should accept the automatic setting, and Evolver will then know to use its LP algorithm. The View tab provides a couple of options for minimizing Excel at the start of the optimization, and showing Excel recalculations during the optimization. You will probably have no need to change these options. Finally, the Macros tab allows you to run macros during the optimization process. However, you have to write the macros in Excel's VBA programming language, so this option is for advanced users only. There is one final option, you see in Evolver's Utilities drop-down list. This is Constraint Solver. This is useful when the genetic algorithm is being used, and there are constraints in the model. If the original solution is not valid, that is, the values in the adjustable cells do not satisfy the constraints, the algorithm might have to run for quite a while just to find a valid solution. In this case, Constraint Solver can be run first. It runs an optimization in a special mode, where the goal is simply to find a valid solution, and it quits as soon as a valid solution is found. Then starting from this valid solution, a regular Evolver algorithm can be run to find the best solution.